Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have replaced the radiator. Uh, also, the car has new hoses and your new thermostat. And also, what's very important is that there is a bleed T in the upper heat hose. And I loosened this earlier. I'm going to remove this. So that's open and now this should be the highest point in the entire cooling system. Uh, make sure the heater valve is open and we will start filling the radiator. Once the fluid is in the neck, we need to squeeze the hoses to see if we can get any air out and sometimes bubbles will come out. Right now the level is actually going down slowly, so I need to get another bottle of antifreeze. Okay, so that level went down some. Let's fill it till the top of the neck, well, top of this ridge, not way up here, but the up of where the ridges. This is also a good time to check, make sure we don't have a leak under the car. And there's a bubble. A few more. And a little bit more coolant. Like that. So it's just to that ledge. It was a good size bubble. Now that we're not getting any more bubbles from the radiator, I'm going to uh, put on the radiator cap. Make sure it's tight and then continue filling from this bleed T. And we'll uh, fill until that one is full. didn't take very much. A few bubbles. Squeeze the hose a bit. Not much. Hey, that looks good to go. It has to be tightened quite a bit. Okay, so now that it's filled up, let's start the car. And let's make sure that the heater is on. That's the middle level down means that the heater is on and then we have to let it idle and we need to just watch the temperature gauge and the thermostat should open just after 190 and then the fan should come on around uh, 195 depending on uh, what temperature sender is in there. Yes, I drove around the block get the temperature up and it's almost 190 so I'm going to check the lower radiator hose to make sure it's warm and the thermostat's opening. I'm going to touch this hose and it's still cool so the thermostat hasn't opened yet 
so we'll wait uh, for that to happen. Checking again, and it's getting warm, so that's a good sign. That means that the thermostat, thermostat has opened and water is circulating in the radiator. So a few more minutes and the fan should come on. So it looks like the thermostat opened around uh, 190, so that's good. And now we're just waiting for the radiator fan to come on. So the radiator fan is on. That's good, I can feel the warm air. And the temperature is about 195 when it came on, so that's excellent. I'll just wait for it to uh, go off and then turn the car off.